Welcome to Assistage RPA Understanding Windows Application Automation webinar. Let's explore the agenda for the webinar. Firstly, we will discuss about adding Windows application in Automation Studio. Then we will learn about configuring different interactions in Windows application using Assistage RPA. Let's understand how we can leverage the Windows application automation capability provided by Assistage RPA Automation Studio. Adding app Windows applications in Automation Studio. Assistage RPA enables automation of Windows thick client applications. Now, the first and foremost step that is supposed to be followed is to add an application. Here, we are focusing on Windows application, so we will be giving application type as Windows app. Here, you are supposed to navigate to the executable file and click on open. Once you have clicked on open, you get to see the path that it has saved the path in of the executable file here in the path property. Next, if you have to provide any specific file, say you want to provide a specific Word document or a PowerPoint slide, you can provide the specific file name using the additional parameters property. You have to further click on the save button and once the application is created, you can drag and drop the application activity and select the application. Further, moving to the configuration part, we are supposed to click on the settings icon. Once you have clicked on the settings icon, the next steps that we are supposed to follow is now we will be configuring interactions for Windows application using Automation Studio. Automate Windows applications by pressing the control key on the keyboard and highlighting controls which Windows can identify to automate them. So here when you click on the settings button, you can see the multimodal interface that opens with Windows mode as well as the image mode. When you click on this play button, you can automate any element that is present in your Windows application. The generic interactions that are present for Windows application automation are get text to read the value of a, in a present in a text field, set text to set a value of, in the text field, select control, mouse click, you can perform any mouse click, you can press on any keyboard keys, you can also bring some element into focus and also you can check if the control exists of a particular element. Now let's go to the Automation Studio window in order to configure Windows application and then configure its different interactions. So this is my Automation Studio window. Now here you can see there is Windows app. One can create Windows application either through Process Canvas or the Settings Application tab in Auto. Application type is Windows App. Application name can be a user-defined name. Now, when I click on the Add button, the File Explorer opens. Here, I am supposed to click on the executable file of the Windows application that I am wanting to automate. Once I click on it, you can see that the path refers to the complete path of the corresponding application, be it Word, Excel, Notepad, Calculator. Now I will just add the application de description. So there are various parameters, namely application type, application name, path and additional parameters. In case you want to open an existing file, its corresponding file path can be provided as additional parameter. If not, a blank file of the application will be opened. Once the parameters are provided and the application is saved, actions can be configured. I'll just drag and drop the application activity and here I will select application type as Windows app and application name as Word Automate. Now I will click on the settings button. The settings button of the application activity allows 
the user to configure actions. It will open a multimodal window which contains the file of the corresponding application. It has the image mode and windows mode. Now I will just click clicking the play button in the multimodal interface will start the configuration. To configure an action, press control key and perform the action simultaneously. On pressing the control key, each control on the window will get highlighted with a red box. After the action has been performed and the mouse is released, field properties window will open, in which the action and a name for the action has to be provided. So say I want to uh, extract Cedar University. So I'll just select the action as get data grid value by column number and row number. Provide the argument and click on save. Now again I will click on the play button and click on the table design tab. I will perform a click on design tab by selecting in action as select. Provide the display name. I will test the interaction and then I will save the configuration. Again, I will click on the play button and now I want to change the change the table format. So I will just select a specific format and select an interaction as click. Provide the display name. Test the configuration and save it. The last step that I want to configure is to click on the save button after applying all the formatting to my data you just have to click on the save button so i will click on the play button go to the save button and configure that particular element i'll select the action as click once all the actions have been provided configured and saved it configured all the interactions and all the configured interactions are available here within the application activity so if in case later on I wish to change any of these attributes I can uh, change them that you just also mention the right line so that we can print the college name that we had uh, extracted using the get text So the, now the environment will just set up. Now we will just directly go and test run the process. Once I test run the process, you can see first it has clicked on table design tab. Then it has selected the specific format and now it has also saved. So test run is successful. In this webinar, we learned about Windows application automation through Sistage RPA Automation Studio. Thank you.